Hello, my friends, and welcome back to Let's Play Stormblood, where we have finally made it back to Isari. So, let's see what's been going on. A little worried about Alize. Hopefully, she'll make it here in one piece. We go together. Okay, she's my friend too. Lise, no, no, Lise, Lise, you're part of this team too. No, 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 this is all of our fight, okay? We fight for, for everybody. You know, we're, we're, we're doing this for our friends in Eorzea. We're doing this for us. We're doing this to free the oppressed from the evil empire, which all of us hate. Lise, you are my friend too. You are her friend too. Alright, maybe she's gonna find us. Okay, cool. Oh, snap. Somebody call the ATF because that was one hell of a sick burn. Yeah, lease? Lease? Consent, lease. Wait, Lise, I, I know you want to hug her, and this is a rather unfortunate side effect of just their height settings that have been in here forever. But, um, yeah, Lise, you just shoved her face into your tits. Consent, Lise. Consent. <laughs> like, she's soaking wet in front of me, her idol, and you just literally forced a motorboat into her face. Like... Not cool. <laughs> I know that's completely unintended and it's just a side effect of, you know, how, how the hug emote doesn't really take into account height differences. And this is a height difference that's just happened to have been in the game from, from the start. But I just find it utterly <laughs> hilarious. Well, if they didn't follow you, they probably didn't follow us. Okay, game, game, can can you advance to the next line, please? There we go. Okay, that was that was really weird how the game Yeah. Yeah, the game is literally just stuck here. Okay, um Yeah, so something is messed up and it's uh, taken forever to load that line of dialogue. That I've never seen that before. Yeah, well, I hope so. Okay, well now it works fine. Okay, that was really awkward. So yeah, there doesn't seem to be anyone around outside. Like, we the players know what happened, but the rest of us certainly don't. Uh, okay, if you're sure. Uh, what are you implying there, Alize? Hey, well, the Confederacy made it here. That's cool. I'm very glad to see you guys have held up your end of the bargain. Now the question is, where the heck are the Imperials? JK, 
kidnap them and hold them hostage too, or... I don't know. Well, glad to see you're okay. All right. Apparently my spoony sense is telling me there's one more person who needs my help. Must find them. You're not hiding underneath the boat? Nope. It'd be a very convenient place to hide, though. You know, t tip that boat under the ocean. Well, tip it over on top of the ocean. Rather, and then just, just hide underneath it and just make it look like another sunken vessel. Knock, knock. You okay? Well, thank you for not easing that fear at all that that smoke was possibly her burning down the place. Apparently we found Lisa rather quickly. Probably just got off the fake megaphone stuff. Oh, hey, Gosetsu. Glad to see you're still walking. My Eorzean friends. Saw the smoke, did you? A pity you did not come sooner. Though I gather you were busy elsewhere. Well, we were. We were creating a distraction. Did, did, did Soraban not fill you in on the details of all this? Gosetsu, you're alive. You're all alive. And full of vim and vigor. <laughs> <laughs> Did I not tell you I was no stranger to chains? The fighting cannot have lasted long. Where are all the Imperials? Yeah, that's a good question. Fled. They stood their ground for a time. Until it became clear that their Corgian reinforcements would not be coming. We took some few casualties. But my deeper regret is having let Yotsuyu slip through my fingers. That bodyguard of hers may be a half-wit, but he's a mean bastard on the battlefield. Aw, oh, shame I wasn't here to kick his butt yet again. In any event, I imagine all involved are satisfied with this outcome. So far as the Empire is concerned, the Confederacy attacked Asari in retaliation for the Viceroy's actions. And without the aid of insurrectionists, I might add. Suffice it to say, we are prepared to be the subject of their undivided attention for the foreseeable future. Well, the sooner we can get the Empire off this, this continent, too, the sooner hmm. you guys can be fine. An impossible claim, yet one spoken with such conviction that I cannot choose but believe it. Your assistance would be most welcome. Nevertheless, we shall do our utmost to spare you undue danger. We are already in your debt. Nay, little miss, all debts are paid. For by your deeds, many still live who elsewise would not. Let both parties count their blessings, and may fortune continue to favor us all. You still seek to bring freedom to our people, then? You will go to Yansha? Yeah, that's where we're headed. I have faith that our allies yet live. Once we have found them, we will plan our next step.
Yan Xiao was the crucible of the rebellion. What happened here pales in comparison to what Yotsuyo did there. Remember this. Fear changes men. Have care in whom you place your trust. And with that, we must take our wounded home. Oh, your shellback friend sends his regards and looks forward to your next meeting. Try not to die before then, eh? Ah, well, glad to see we can all reach a happy accord. Hooray, we get an Aether current out of this, but we're not caught up on those things, so yeah. Like we still have a couple from a couple episodes back to still take care of, and there's another one we're gonna start in the background just while we're here. Yeah, see see, you have a map! Like <laughs> this code could have come in so much handy for a bunch of other things. But like when when we actually need it, it's apparently not there. I think we need to get you a medic, sir. Are you sure you do not have any broken bones? Aww, group hug? Group hug, everybody. To even Minion Carbuncle wants it. So we get some Aether Current quests where... Oh wait, no, that is not. That is to unlock Heaven on High. We don't need that. This one should be an Aether Current. Nope. Okay. Fine by me then. I don't know off the top of my head where the heck all of them are, so uh... We're just gonna have to deal with that after. Because we're finally leaving this zone at last. Can't fly yet, but that's 90% due to my own laziness and not anything else. You mean the spot where we literally just walked out of? Okay. We cannot rest here for long. This place is not safe. Mayhap nowhere is. If thieves can breach our vaults. Nevertheless. It is our duty to protect these treasures, and we shall not fail for want of effort. I didn't steal anything. So, this is why you abandoned your posts. And without a word of explanation at that. Rather thoughtless of you, was it not? Lady Yotsoyo, pray forgive us our absence. But our home was under attack, our vaults plundered by outsiders. Yeah, something tells me she ain't gonna give a damn. Did you even pause to consider the possibility that it might be a diversion? What is the point of contracting your services if you are not here when they are required? 
It is my solemn charge to bring these vermin to heal. To torment them, body and soul, until all they hold dear is as bitter ashes in their mouths. And then you go and ruin everything! Well, there's naught to be gained in belaboring the point. All that remains is to administer your punishment. Wait, my lady! Well, that's gonna hurt. No. No, it's no good. There's just no joy in it. No release. There... there needs to be some investment. There were negligent imbeciles deserving of punishment, but it was hardly personal. Ten thousand such caution could not satisfy me half so well as a single doorman. here one of the vaunted treasures of the red the craftsmanship is certainly impressive mayhap we can use it to make amends how long before lord xenos reinstates me do you reckon i've got unfinished business back in aeosia Dude, you got fired for a reason. Is serving me really so unbearable? At least pretend to enjoy, you witless lump! If you are so desperate to earn a way back to Eorzea, then be quiet and do as you're told. And bring that sword while you're at it. Was that really worth that minor segue game? I remember the silence. How the talking stopped when we first set foot on the plains of Yansha. Before us stood yet another wall, and through a great Magitek field we glimpsed Doma Castle. I'll never forget the sight, or the anger I felt that day. Life, liberty, hope, so much lost, so much taken. As we walked through that war-torn land, no one said a word.
So yeah, Magitech Gates, something uh, we haven't quite seen before, at least not nearly of that magnitude. Unfortunately, we cannot see them from here. So can I get a glimpse of them from right here? A little bit. It's kind of hard to see from in the branches there. You can see a little glimpse of that. But we just got here. Oh, okay. All right. All right. We're, 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 we're just stopping for a brief moment of rest and expedition. Okay. All right. Cool. That works for me. That's fine. Well, at least we know Xenos is far away from here, which is good. I mean, that is kind of why we're here. That's a pretty big tiger. I don't want to piss that thing off. So yeah, an interesting thing about the cutscene we just saw is we get a little bit of uh, exposition for Yatsuyu's, shall we say, um, pleasure seeking. That it's not just about killing and torturing people for the fun of it, it's about killing and torturing a very specific kind of people for the fun of it. Because as she said, eh, Kojin just don't do it for her. Just the dominance. Sure, there's probably a reason for that, but that's neither here nor there at this point. Well, this looks like a happy little village. Where the heck is the dang Aetherite? I am so lost. There it is. It is so weird, I know I've said this before, it is so strange to be forced to walk when after two years of playing this expansion and used to flying everywhere, like, like, your viewpoint on their scenery changes so much when you're forced to stay grounded again, you know? And since it's been so long, it's not so much reliving the experience, it's almost experiencing again for the very first time. If that makes sense. Yeah, I already went into the village. Everything seems cool. I probably shouldn't have done that. Whoops. Alright, so let's just do one more quest before we end today. Let's actually walk into the village proper and pretend we attuned to the eighth right there. Okay? Alright. Alright, I suppose I can do that. No, I think it would be interesting if if they did they handled this place like they did Annex Trine. Because if you remember way back when I mentioned, when we, way, way back when, is that there's no dragons to actually interact with until you're actually told to go there. You may be in luck. I don't see a single Imperial soldier. Then there is no need to remain hidden. Let us go and greet them as friends.
I'm going too. Good people of Namai, hearken to me. We come in peace and desire only information to learn of recent events. Isn't that the general? Lord Gorsetsu, can't we preserve your right? He lives. I say, brothers and sisters, is all to miss? Why do you regard me as one with a wild beast? Why is there fear in your eyes? Why do you tremble so? Yeah, you clearly recognize him. Ah, but of course. You fear me a vengeful spirit of the dead. Rest assured, naught could be further from the truth. For am I not corporeal? Are my feet not firmly set upon the ground? <laughs> what should we do? If they catch him here, you know what will happen. Of all the times for him to turn up. Has the old fool lost his mind? Oh, well, he's seeking information. He doesn't know what the hell is going on and what you're referring to. Like, what's going on here? You! But... Why have you come here? What do you want from us? Information. Recent events. We told you this. I know not who you are to speak thus to your elders, boy. But mine only desire is to be received with the hospitality owed a humble traveler. Not the fear and trepidation one might afford a wrathful shade. What? What you going on about? Actually, never mind. Just come with me. Now! Can you explain yourself, please? He is, he is very clearly confused about what the hell is going on, so... Might do well to explain to him. If you do not want him here, you need to tell him why you do not want him here. <laughs> Ugh, poor communication kills everybody. So, you, explain yourself. No, we don't have any idea. We would like to know. See, you could have said that two minutes ago. I don't think this is funny though, Gosetsu. Clearly this is not a joke to them. But can we have some recent inf information on recent events? Like, can you at least give us that? What's been going on? And w maybe we'll leave you alone. Okay, well at least we have another safe place to go. So that's good. We're on a rude welcoming committee, huh? So 
Spring? I don't see no spring. What you talking about, girl? Oh, okay. Well, kind of hard to see it around the bend. It's a really tiny spring, though. Oh, are you disappointed? Well, unfortunately for you, who has that problem, I do not. And neither do my friends. Whee! Oh, they even got a little rope here. You know, if I couldn't breathe underwater, this would probably scare the crap out of me. There's really not a light down here, and it's it's deep enough that a Noma person would probably have trouble. All right. Okay then, um, are you sure you're gonna be okay? Are you really sure? Like, we still haven't sought you medical attention after everything. Are you sure you're gonna be okay? Like, I'm glad you didn't drown, but are you sure you're gonna be okay? Are you sure? Alright. Well, while we make sure that he's not gonna keel over a heart attack on us, we're gonna have to stop here. Thank you very much for watching, friends, and we'll see what this House of the Fierce place is, well, up to next time. Thank you, and I'll see you then.